Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to one of the first videos of a game called Moss. Whoa. Did I just step outside the bubble? I was I was just trying to open the door. <gasps> this is all amazing. Okay, let's step back into our little bubble, because I don't think I was supposed to step out of that. That's awesome to figure out how it works, though. Look at that. Okay. Let's go back and get my chair. There we go. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and recenter ourselves. Hey. Play area. Seated experience. Keep the space clear. Confirm. Okay. So we grab with those. We move with this. That's the pause menu. Hold to recenter. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Do I need to keep turning pages? Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes. Next page. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted. Every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Okay, I'm loving the Meanwhile, feel. Sir Argus, Commander of the King's Guard led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Are we that hero? Are we the mousy moss? That oh. hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most.
Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Okay, this is cool. This is giving me some super foxtail vibes. Oh, careful, little mouse. Okay, seeing this environment in 3D is amazing. Can I, like... Oh, hello! I can actually move forward and, like, move around and stuff. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Is it me? Hi. Quill Why had to hurry. You? The village <clears throat> gates would soon close and night would follow. <gasps> controlling her. Nice. Head back. Head back home. Wait. Why can't I go back home? Okay. Obviously not that way. So, okay. Take that, foul demon. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's adorable. Okay. How do I put my sword away? Wait. Wait, what? You're like patting her on the head. Uh... How do I go over there? Okay, I guess I don't I don't have to follow her. So. Oh, here we go. Oh, I might be a little too close. Oh, what's this? Okay. Anything else I can do with the environment? Oh, that is too cool! <laughs> There's a scroll up here. Alright, I can't pick it up. Oh, what's down there? Oh, I can see inside boxes. That's cool. Okay, let's take a look around. Nope, I think we're good. So. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Is there a place for you to fall down? Okay, I see. I was supposed to pull this over. Yeah, I see you. Oh, you're telling me to pull. That's cool. Oh, <gasps> dude. We got night vision, or like see through wall vision. That is cool. Okay. I don't know how this looks to you guys, but oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, jump down, jump down. There you go. There we go. Now how do we navigate this over here? Can you go, go this way, I guess? Or 
or do I need to pull this back over? There we go. And the scroll! I don't even know what that is. What a cool game. <gasps> oh no, the gate just closed. Are we too late? <gasps> We're too late. Check all that stuff over there real quick. Something. I don't know what that stuff is. Magic powers, I guess? Experience points, that's what it is. Oh, wait, hold on. I can touch things. Oh, what's this? Can't ring the bell though. That'd be cool. All right, let's get you going over here. Jump. Up to Daisy. Now there isn't anything that way, so we gotta go. Oh. Gotta go over the other way. Oh, I just got my first achievement, Forgotten Path, or something like that. Why are you not grabbing it? Come on. What's going on here? All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. We got another one. I don't know what they are. I wonder if we can take fall damage. We're good. Okay. What a mess you left. Seriously, clean up after yourself. Oh. Hi. Can we talk to you? No, I don't want to. I don't want to attack him. Can... Okay, we can't attack him anyway. So. That's good. Anything over there? Nothing. Okay. Well, this seems to be a very fun game. I would say if you use your Oculus kind of like a cell phone and you take it all over the place, you've earned a new clearing the moss, the clearing in moss. Can we go across the water a little? Is that possible? Oh, oh. Okay. So no water. Got it. Nope, oh, and I can't talk to you, can I? Okay. okay, apparently we're not going up there. <laughs> Just like... Ugh, gotta lean down. Yeah, there's no fish down there, bud. No fish. You always block the dang bridge, Jeffrey. Actually, I don't know, I don't know what his name is. So. 
Let's just keep on going. Looks like the drawbridge is held up by that little thing. Oh, okay. There's a thing. Okay, keep it up that way. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, okay. Is that what you're looking for? All right, I'm holding on to it. You got to jump across though. Okay, go. Good job. Shimmy across. I guess I can let that go now. Oh no. Okay, that sucks. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Missed it again. There you go. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, wait. Was that the way you were supposed to go? Oh, no, it was not. Balance. What prestige. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. On guard, squirrel. Oh, please be something sad, some sad story. No? Oh, okay. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. I love the storybook. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. I did? I, I didn't choose. The storybook chose. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. 
Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into and the night. I'm the reader. I'm the one that says where we go. And I say I don't promise. Here we go. Oh, oh, hold on one second. Okay. Woo! Had to look at my timer. Get out of here, Tinkerbell. Hey, kid! No. Kid! No, I promise, my Wake uncle. Up. I'm not waking up. Oh, okay. Hey, kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Uh. Okay, look at me. You promised. You promised. Right? You said, I will stay here, uncle. Dude, look at the detail on all the little things. Is this not the coolest game ever? Oh, scrolls. Scrolls. Uh, go get your scroll. Quill called out. Hey! Starthing, wait! Got it! Can we wake up the bumblebee? Okay, that banister run was kind of cool. Come on, can I do that again? Just a bug? Hey, take the bigger sword. Open the door, no? Is there an invisible wall there that I don't see? Okay. Out the door. You, troublemaker. Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. through the eastern gate was strictly the forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Okay, what are you fighting back over there? Oh, a bunch of boxes. This is by far the funnest game on Oculus I've played so far. Oh, okay. Now I can lift it. Yay. This feels like Dungeons and Dragons. Quill demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? 
What is that? Is there anything down there? Nothing? Okay. Oh, my nose. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. I got people the messaging The trouble your me. uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Silent giant? Is she talking about me? Now, hold on. Do you have... Oh, ho, ho. Had to push. Okay. Look around. Do we see any scrolls? Okay. Looks like we have to jump up here, jump up to here, climb across. Did we just block the path or what? Whoa. I can see another world in there. see behind the scenes. Okay, I think it's just going to be a jump. I don't see anything. You're pointing up, but... Okay, we got it. Here we go. This way, kid. Urge the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Did anybody else see the uh, lunar eclipse last night? Leave a comment down below. Alright, let's go. I earned an achievement called I'm Not Scared. Oh, dang it. Oh, wait, grab. Okay, I died. I just earned the impassable mirror in Moss. Okay. So you actually have to guide him. Guide her. I love it. It's like a little model of like a action figure that's that's exactly the way it plays i gotcha i'm feeling you how do i get that though I see it. Oh. 
On guard, dear. Bring it. Bring it, foul beast. Okay. It's a helmet. Okay, first off, I need to look down through here and see if there is any scrolls. No scrolls? Oh, wait, what's that up there? Is that a scroll? Oh, I'm gonna stand up. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Oh, right there. I completely missed it. That's okay. We can go up this way. That is the coolest. Just on the other side is the mire. The starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Squirrel. Okay. Right. Oh, we're coming in at. Coming in right there. Okay. <gasps> Did you hear that? The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. What are these bugs? What did this used to be? Oh my gosh, look at the battle that we see. Okay, what do we got? Let's take a look. Should we go find the uncle? Oh, hold on one second. Let me go, let me go see what time it is. We are at the, the 30 minute mark, and I think this is a great spot to leave off. So. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Moss with me, Heath Haskins, Code Crimey. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.